have to say that I'm really excited for today's video because it's a bit of a breath of fresh air for me as it is like an upcycle palette project. I'm gonna be turning this palette into, well, a section of it into a DIY towel holder. I actually partnered up with HelloFresh for this video because I am doing a DIY small bathroom makeover in my friend Allie's house that you saw me do the living room makeover for. And you know, HelloFresh keeps my life a little bit more stress-free when I'm on the go making over other people's spaces, but we will get into that later. I'm going to be making my first cut right where my measuring tape is across that bottom board. And the go-to tool that I will be using is the Ryobi Sawzall, which breaks palettes down like it ain't no thing. This section that I just took away is going to be basically like the foundation of the entire thing and the pieces that I'm ripping down are gonna be the shelve and the base of that towel holder. After we removed those pieces from the other section we're not using as the actual towel holder, we're gonna put the other section that is the towel holder back up on the workshop table, clamp it down, and we are gonna actually be splitting this to function for two different things. I used my speed square to mark a line so I didn't hit that middle beam of the palette. And I cut that top piece of palette wood in half and removed it completely because we are going to repurpose those two pieces to be something else in this holder. We want that little gap out at the bottom. So I cut those nubs is what I'm gonna call them as close to flush as possible with like the spine of that piece of wood because I'm going to be using those to shift down the beam a little bit to create the towel holder storage section. I lined up the nubs in the half piece with basically the third palette. And then I realized I could cut that top section off and use that longer piece of palette wood to be the bottom of the towel holder. Hands down the craziest thing I've ever had to try to explain, but let me break it down for you like this real quick. It makes way more sense. I put the two nubs and the half piece of palette wood to the upper right hand corner and line that up with the back palette piece. So it's nice and straight and looking a little cohesive. We're gonna use another palette piece to nail to the top of the palette to create a shelf. And then at the bottom, that part needs to be covered up because we're gonna be making that the actual towel rack. Since that excess doesn't really serve a purpose, I decided to cut it to be flush to save more space in the bathroom. This is definitely tricky to sand, but I just went in with my orbital sander and did the best that I could before moving on to gluing and nailing everything together. I started by adding some glue to the very top of the palette and placing that upper shelf and then going in with my Ryobi nail gun to secure. Glued those smaller chunks that I cut off earlier towards the top as well and did the same exact thing with my glue and nail gun to the palette piece that goes on the outside of that to create the towel storage. Once I had those two in place, I flipped it upside down and added that longer palette piece to the bottom, which didn't cover the entire thing. And I wasn't stressing too hard because there's not anything super crazy heavy going on the inside of this little cubby moment. So I just went in with some trim I had on hand to fill that little gap in the back. I went in with a self-feeding spade bit. This is seven eighths, but you can do whatever size fits your fancy. And I honestly eyeballed two different placements for rods to go across the base. So one is gonna be further out and one's gonna be a little bit more in. I measured between the holes and cut down the dowels to size. You're gonna have two longer ones, obviously one for each actual physical towel rack. And there'll be four other shorter dowels two of which I made a little bit longer because I wanted the rack to stagger a bit, but it's totally personal preference. This is the general idea and we will be connecting it with some copper elbows to give it just a little bit of extra something. But before moving into that, I have to tell you, HelloFresh definitely comes in handy when I'm working just so hard day in, day out, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm craving just such a good lunch. If I don't wanna leave, I can make it right at home. By this point, if you guys haven't seen, I have been working with HelloFresh and they are an absolute lifesaver. It makes conquering the kitchen a reality with deliciously simple recipes. And it doesn't take up too much of your time. It lets you know what you're getting into right on the recipe card. All meals come together in 30 minutes max. They call for less than two pots and pans and require minimal cleanup, which is music to my ears when I have a dirty workshop 24 seven. 
Something I didn't know, even though I've been working with them for a little bit, is that you can enjoy fun menu features with HelloFresh's dinner to lunch, 20 minute meals, gourmet, and one pot wonders, amongst many more. HelloFresh is America's best value meal kit and is now starting from $6.99 per serving. You can get started with eight free meals, which is $80 off your first month of HelloFresh by going to HelloFresh.com and entering METS80. To keep it real and raw with you guys, while partnering up with HelloFresh, I really wasn't a fan of cooking and now I don't mind taking that little bit of time for myself throughout the day to create something special, not just for my family, but for me and solo time. So thank you HelloFresh for calming your girl down in the middle of a stressful project sometimes. Almost got lost in there for a second, but back to the task at hand. We are gonna be staining this whole holder prior to putting the dowels in and you also wanna stain the dowels separately. The stain color you see me using here is called Kona and truth be told, I do not like this stain at all, but it was way too late to go back in and try to strip it and restain it. I would suggest going with like an early American. It's just like a really stunning brown, but it doesn't completely lose the grain of the wood. I added some wood glue on the inside of the three quarter inch copper elbows and attached those racks together. And then I used wood glue to attach it to the base of the holder as well. I also added a water protecting sealant, which was a satin finish. And again, I wasn't the biggest fan of that finish, but all in all, not bad for my first go at a new palette project. Do not hate me. This bathroom has absolutely no natural light. So I apologize in advance, but now you just get to decorate and add all the things that make it functional for your bathroom. I secured this to the wall by using drywall anchors since there were no studs and then screwing directly through the pallet into the drywall into those anchors. Something I would have done differently is making that towel storage area a little bit deeper because it was a little bit too snug. For a small bathroom, I really do see this as a useful solution. There are definitely tweaks that I need to make in a future one, but you get towel storage, a towel rack, a cubby moment for lotions and all your things, and then a shelf to either decorate or add even more product up top. I always say the possibilities are endless, but I love this one because you can really customize this for your space and your needs. Thank you once again to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to get started with eight free meals. That's $80 off your first month of HelloFresh to head over to the link down below, hellofresh.com and enter METS80 now. I will catch you Wednesday for another DIY.